The most natural thing in the world is to stretch and to breathe. Yoga is that natural alignment of stretch, strength, breath, and relaxation. Practice with me each day. Morning stretches will improve your circulation, mobility, clear your mind for the day. Evening sessions dissolve daily stress, recharge tired batteries, and return balance. Go slowly, explore, challenge yourself, but not hurt yourself. This time is for you, for you are worth spending time on. Namaste, welcome. I've been waiting for you. I hope that the phone is off the hook, the door is closed, because this is a private time for you and myself, and I hope that no one will disturb us. Something that I would like to make very clear before we start is something about the breath and breathing. That the general rule of thumb, when you inhale, the body will be opening. And when you fold your body or close, there is a normal exhalation and that the two move together when the body opens, you breathe in through the nose, and as you exhale, the body will fold. Breath and body move together in harmony, just as breath can bring calmness and tranquility to mind and to thinking. So let us start now by doing the most natural breath of all, which we all, almost all of us, when we awaken in the morning, we stretch, we yawn, when you open your mouth wide, it releases this big jaw muscle that gathers tension, and also the exhalation releases deep stresses in our body. So raise the arms above your head. This should feel wonderful. All right, so you're going to stretch one side and then stretch the other. Not too high at first. You're listening to your body. You're stopping if you're feeling any discomfort or pain, of course, and reach a little higher, little higher apples. I like to think that I am reaching for low apples at first and then higher apples as my muscles stretch out and then let's do a little bit of yawning. One elbow bends and then the other one stretches up to the ceiling. I push the heel of my hand up to the ceiling, squeeze the eyes, open the mouth wide and you make a big sort of balloon way in the back of the throat. <gasps> And you yawn to start the yawning reflex. And then you do the same thing, stretching and yawning. Good sound now, stretching and yawning. Ah, yawning and stretching. Wonderful way to start your day, good way to end it. And now place the hands on the knees and let your day go, no matter what time of day it is. Let it just drain out your shoulders, out your fingertips. And now focus your attention on your shoulders. We're going to start by making slow, small circles. We've got so much space inside of the body, inside of the shoulder area. And I'd like you to think about that space. You're creating space as you move in little circles first and then make the circle bigger and larger like you're creating more space. But you are bringing circulation to tight joints, to the mobility of your joint area, stopping if there's discomfort and backing off of it and then go in the other direction, circling. You can start big here, and then working in smaller and smaller, bringing new circulation to the shoulder area, and now bring the shoulders up under your ears to shrug. This is where we carry a lot of our tension, a lot of the heaviness from the day, and then pull the shoulders down from your ears. Now I'm going to squeeze a lemon right between my shoulder blades, or pretend it, and I want you to see what it looks like. So, 
I would want you to bring the shoulders up under your ears and then pull them back and down. Create space between those shoulders and your earlobes and squeezing the shoulder blades together. Now breathe in, open chest. Lift the chin, stretching from chin to chest and it's not how far you go back with your head. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. Then release, relax. Wonderful, doesn't that feel good? In the shoulder area. A neck tilt now. It's after we've done something with the shoulders, let's go now in the opposite direction with your, your head and your neck, sitting tall on your sitting bones. Breathe in, so there's a long lengthening of the body. And you're going to exhale, bringing your left ear to your left shoulder and your right hand to the floor. And just let that left side of the neck stretch out. The neck is the bridge that bridges up to your brain and to your eyes, and when it gets tight. It doesn't get enough blood. And I think this is why we are subject to headaches sometime. Do a neck tilt other times during your day. Now keeping your nose, all right, vertical, vertical up. Bring it so it's nose, chin, and breastbone in alignment, and then vertically to the other side, right ear, right shoulder. Pause. Are you leaning? I hope not. Come back to the sitting bones. Sitting tall on the sitting bones, left hand to the floor. Breathing comfortably, letting the left side of this bridge stretch out gradually, slowly, and that nose, chin are, are vertical, and then back to your center position. Mm, close your eyes for a moment and just feel the difference in one side of your neck, the shoulders, the other side of the neck, warmth coming to the neck, and when you increase the circulation to the joints of our body, all over your body, you increase your health. Now let's do a restricted side stretch. So I'm going to stretch my right leg out and bend the left knee, left foot, and the inside of the thigh. Putting then your right hand to left knee. Inhaling, lift the left arm up. Breathing in, let the breath lift you up. Through the nose, good. Exhaling then, slowly stretching now to your right. Not leaning forward, but an imaginary wall behind your shoulders. Now back to a center position. Turn yourself so now you are over your right knee and raise both arms up, breathing in, breathing in to a forward bend. Exhaling, fold forward. And as you do, please ease that knee, stretching forward, putting the hands either on your ankle or on the toes, breathing in again, and exhaling, not toe far, not forcing, just letting the back stretch out. Good, you're not try and trying so hard, you're just letting the gravity stretch you forward, breathing in again, breathing in, breathing in, breathing in, and exhaling, lowering the arms down and changing the legs, right foot, on the inside of your left thigh. For a restricted side stretch now to, your, to the opposite side, left leg out. And then putting your left hand to your right knee. Take your time, you there. Now inhale, lift your right arm up, breathing it in. Good, pausing, exhaling. Imaginary wall beside your, behind your shoulders and pausing there, not straining. Take a breath in again and a good sigh out. Uh, pausing. You can ease that knee if it's too much. And then back to your center, back to your center. Good. Turn and look over your left knee. Raise both arms up, easing the left knee. My heel is extended. Breathing in again and exhaling, flowing forward. Flowing, and as, as you flow forward, you're folding from the hip hinge as you fold forward. Not thinking of getting the nose to the knee. No, no, top of the head towards your toes. Pause there. Let the muscles stretch out. No straining, no straining, and then come up, come up, come up. Breathing in, energy in as you breathe in. Good, exhale, tiredness out. Breathing through the nose smoothly smoothly out 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 now let's roll down we're going to roll down with the knees bent heels to the floor hands onto the knees no pain in the back breathing in as you sit tall and now as you exhale lean back into a soft C you really need to support your back here so contract this belly muscle 
Put, contract the buttock muscle. Tailbone is between the buttock muscle, good. And now roll back beyond that tailbone. Hold on to the knees and just lightly balance with your hands to your thighs if you need to. Otherwise, lifting the arms. Soft C with your back and roll back down slowly. First the sacrum, then the waist, slowly letting the abdominal muscle work for you, that which splints and supports your spine. The spine elongates, elbows to the floor, and tuck your shoulder wings in towards your spinal column. My knees are still bent, feet hip distance apart. And just pause for a moment as we go into a pelvic tilt. This is a very important building block to many, many postures. So get to know it well this day. Hands on the pelvis area, heels of your hands towards the bones of your hips and the fingertips towards the pelvis. All right, now slip your hand beneath your lower back so that you can feel that arch. And as I breathe in, I'm going to pull the belly muscle up into my ribs. And as I exhale, I'm going to press the lower back right onto my fingers. The pubic bone goes towards the navel. That's it. And then again, breathing in. Breathing in, relax, pull muscle up. Exhaling, pubic bone towards the navel, flattening the back, pressing gently in with the feet. Good, 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 relaxing. And then one more time, breathing in, relax your shoulders. Exhaling, tilt the pelvis, pushing, use your feet for a little leverage, ne the pubic bone towards the navel and lift your head so that you can feel a broad, flat feeling with the abdomen not doming out. Good, head to the mat. The pelvic tilt, you'll use it often in standing, sitting, many, many poses as well as a soother for the back. Now let's use it for a sit-up of the modern day. So bring the hands now behind the back of your head. Elbows are wide. Press your knees together and turn your toes in slightly. And we're going to do a few sit-ups, but when you practice on your own, would you try to work up to about 10? So breathe in again, pulling the belly muscle up into your rib line. Exhaling, squeeze the inner thighs together and lift your chin up to the ceiling. Elbows are wide, nobody is watching me. You're just listening and tuning into your own body. Pelvis is tilted, pelvis tilted towards your chin. And head back, relax, breathe in again. Pulling the belly muscle up into your rib line, breathing in, good and exhaling, tilting the pelvis, lifting the chin up to the ceiling, elbows wide, shoulders lightly off the mat, squeeze the inner thighs together, and head to your mat. And last time, breathing in, relax. Exhaling, tilting the pelvis, good. Knees are together, lift the shoulders off the mat, and as you do, I'd like you to hold there for a moment. Let your head sink into your hands, elbows wide. Press the inner thighs together, and can you relax the buttock muscle? Use less buttock muscle, more belly area as you strengthen from day to day to day, good, and then head to your mat. Draw the knees now into your chest just for a moment, and you can place, matter of fact, let's start by placing the feet on the floor. Arms out to your side in a T position, and just roll from side to side. You do not want to feel any pain when you twist in the back. I don't want to feel any pain, so keep your feet on the floor if there's any discomfort in your back as you roll and twist from side to side. That this feels good, then move your, your knees up closer to your chest and just roll from side, center, and side. Open your knees up if you need to. Palms turned upward, shoulders down from your ears. A wonderful massage for your, the, the lower back and the acupressure points that release the tight muscles of the back. All right, now let's bring both knees down underneath your left arm and look over your right shoulder. Inhale and grow long arms, breathing in. Exhaling, not forcing, but shoulder to the floor. Ah, 
feels good. Then draw both knees to chest, both knees then to the opposite side. Again, you can open your knees up if it's easier for you. Take your time with this time, this video really. Breathe in and look over your other shoulder. Breathe in, grow long arms, forcing nothing, forcing nothing. And on your exhalation, shoulder towards your mat. Ah. And then use the muscles on the side of your rib cage to draw you forwards. Placing the feet on the mat once again. And just rest with your knees together. And we'll do a little bit of breathing. Close your eyes. Don't watch here. Put one hand to the belly and one hand lightly to your chest. Close your eyes and really tune into your breathing. Feel the inhalation that flows in and the exhalation that flows out. And I'd like you to try to make sure that this rib cage now is very quiet and just breathe from where your hand and belly meet. Breathing in. You'll feel your belly soften, but not distend. And as you exhale, you can exhale out, and you slightly push in with the belly muscle, and that's fine. Pause. Inhaling again. Letting the belly muscles soften as you breathe in. Pausing the exhalation as it flows out and out and out. When things get intense during your day, think about bringing your breath down deep into the belly area. It's a wonderful tranquilizer for your body, and you can do it anytime, any place. Now let's sit up. We're going to cross the ankles, hold on to the instep, and roll ourselves up, all right? Roll up into a sitting position. Table series is a series for the flexibility of your spine, moving it in all different directions. It opens the discs of the spine, increasing the circulation to your spinal column, and prepares us for downward facing dog. Wonderful for the shoulders and upper body. So come on to the hands, to the knees, into your table position. I like to start with my knees together. And the knees are right beneath your hips. Hands are open up like a star. And when you do this, be sure that you're not putting in too much weight into that wrist area. You're very light, weight evenly distributed on the hands. The back forms a nice straight table. And now exhale and round your back as you exhale, rounding the back. Pull the belly muscle up into your spine. Relax toes, long toes. Inhaling, let the lower back sag and lifting the chin. Back to a straight position and straighten your right back leg behind you and push into the heel to stretch the heels and the calf muscle. Tuck your pelvis and lift now the right leg. Looking out between your eyebrows, nothing in your upper neck. You have, most of us have enough curve there. Breathe in. Exhale, rounding your back. You might think of doing this six times on your own, nose to knee, and then straighten the leg again, keeping the pelvis tucked to protect the back, not too high with the heel, and then knee to the floor. Left leg back behind you. Stretch the heel of the foot, tuck the pelvis under, and lift the left leg up, not higher than your head, lifting the chin, breathing in. Exhaling, nose to the knee as you exhale, pausing, 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 and then extending the leg back once again, you back once again for the strength of your back, buttock muscle, thighs, knees together. Turn your toes under and let your lower back sag once again. This is an exaggerated stretch, I realize, but now lift your sitting bones up to the ceiling. I've got my feet open a little bit wider, heels off of your mat. My t the lower back is still slightly sagging, but I'd like you to breathe in. Now bring the head between the upper arms, head between the upper arms, pausing, long back, shoulders down from your ears, and the weight evenly on your hands as right heel to the floor, stretching the back of the leg, lifting, and then left heel to the floor, lifting heels up, and then working to get the heels down as you work with this half hour. 
And now lastly, can you bring the inside of your shoulders so they face one another and then walk in, walk in. Ease your knees, ease your knees. Good, 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 good. Come down, say hello to the toes. Unsung heroes of the body and they ground us to the earth as you drop your head inverting bringing blood to the brain cheeks sinus eyes slowly roll yourself up rolling up take your time the back is rounded arms are heavy good 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 and then coming back into alignment into beautiful posture so let's just talk about that for a moment posture so that the feet are grounded the breastbone is lifted and from the shoulder shrugging, you can feel the shoulders back and down as we prepare ourselves, lifting from the top of the head so that there's no pain in the back. When Posture is one of the, the greatest causes for back problems. So think of your posture at other times during your day. A side stretch. Shift your weight now to the left side of that left foot. And I'd like you to inhale the arm upwards. That's your left arm up. Inhale it up slowly. Stop right there. Can you keep breathing? Don't hold the breath, but ground that left foot. Breathe in. And as you exhale to the right, very slowly, this looks easy, and it is wonderful when you slow it down. Hips very steady. Now pause there. Can you ground that left foot and let the energy come right up and right out your fingertips? So it's going right out your fingers. Good, keep breathing. Breathing and then come back into your center position, back, and then lowering the arm down and down and down. Back into perfect balance so we walk in balance this day. Awareness is the key. Lifting now your right arm up. Let the breath lift you, lift you, lift you. Breathing up. Breathing up. Now ground that right foot. Exhaling slowly now to your right side. You have an imaginary wall. Don't lean forward. Anything that side to side helps to trim the waist. Let the energy come up your right foot rib cage and then right out the fingertips as you're pausing, breathing, good, and then back to your center position. Back to the center position and then let the arm float down, float down, float down. So that you're using muscle to lift, not the movement. Very important that you're aware of what you're doing and the breath works with you in harmony. Open the feet up now, will you, for a side stretch, another side stretch, a triangle stretch. My feet are a good three feet apart. So I hope that yours are. Will you turn your left foot in towards the center of your body and pick up the right foot and place it so it's going in, the, uh, so it's going in a 90 degree angle. Arms out to your side in a T position. Grow long arms. Will you look down and just look at your knee for a moment and see that it's over your ankle and that that kneecap is slightly pulled up but not pushing back into your kneecap, into the back of your knees. Breathe in and glide to your right. Glide to the right, glide to the right, pausing and then dropping that right hand to the inside of that right knee. Lift your left arm up, lifting the left arm up. Look up to the thumb of that hand, of the left hand, pausing, keep breathing, and then back up into your center, turning your feet, the right foot in slightly and the left all the way out so that there is a nice straight line of your foot that the heel will go right in the center of that other foot. Arms out to your side, breathing in, shoulders down from your ears. Grow long arms as you glide to your left. Use the thigh to help support your knee. Keep breathing, then left hand, on the outside of that left knee. Right hand above. All right, breathe in, look up to the thumbs of the hand, pausing, 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 and then let the breath, the muscle lift you back into your center position and lowering the arms down, slowly down, slowly down. Toes together, this is how you close your feet up. Toes together, heels, toes, heels, toes. Bend your knees now and we're going to sit down. So bending your knees, rounding the back and sitting down. Right leg out in front of you and then the left, let the left leg cross. So we're just going to end now with a nice twist. Right hand on your left knee. 
and inhale, lift your left arm upwards, breathing up. Exhaling and place your hand now behind you so that thumb is facing your spine. I'd like you to breathe in for a moment, breathe in, and just as if you were going around a maypole of your spine, your navel turns to the left, your, your rib cage turns to the left, your shoulder turns to the left, and you apply gentle pressure where hand meets the knee, eyes way around, moving on the exhalation and then releasing very slowly. Eyes, nose, chin, chest, shoulder, and then crossing right over left. Left hand on the outside of that right knee. A lot of directions, I realize. But inhale and lift your right arm upwards so that you lift up out of your pelvis. Then support yourself, hand behind you, thumb facing your tailbone. All right, here we go. Breathing in, sitting tall. Exhaling, moving around in a circle, like you're moving around your spine. Navel to the right, ribs to the right. Look around over your right shoulder, sitting tall. That's good, and then eyes way around to your right. And then slowly, you, you release slowly, so there's a beginning, a middle, and an end. Fine, crossing then the ankles, holding onto the ankles for a moment for an easy forward bend. Breathing in, sitting tall, sitting tall. Exhaling out with a ha, out, 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 out. Bring the shoulders up under the ears. Release and relax them. Any of the movement that goes forward, such as we're doing now, it immediately tells the body to relax. Forward bends will relax and tranquilize, calm the body. And then slowly sit up, breathing in as you sit up. Ah, wonderful. But now the best is yet to come. Don't miss this part now. So we're going to lie down and we're going to do some breathing and a little relaxation. So, but let's go down with consciously. Don't just throw yourself down on the rug. No, sitting tall, breathing in, and then sitting back in, a, in that soft sea slowly rolling down, just using the hands for balance, using the belly muscle, remembering that the abdomen splints the spine, spend some time on it this week. Feet well apart, tuck your shoulders into the spinal column, fingertips upwards, eyes are closed, nose, chin, breastbone in alignment. Feet apart, Back is flat, shoulders pulled down from your ears and in towards your spine. Breath is comfortable, breathing in and comfortably out. Your breath breathes you. Send your awareness down to your feet. Breathe in comfortably and stretch your toes wide apart. Pausing and now exhaling and feel the toes tingle, sending tension away from the feet. Focus now into the back of your legs and inhale, tightening the thigh muscles and pulling the toes in towards the knees. Good. Pause. Exhale and release and relax and let your legs flop. And now forget about your legs. Draw your awareness up into your hip area, seat muscles. Take a breath in and contract the seat muscle. Hold, tighten the, the tummy muscle, tighten the seat muscle, pausing, relaxing your shoulders and arms, and exhale, release, relax, and melt. Melt into your surface. Focus your attention on your hands. Breathing in and open the hands up like a big star, stretching the hands, pausing and exhaling. Release, relax, and feel the sensation in the inside of the hand. And now scan the inside of your face. Press your tongue against the roof of the mouth. Breathing in and tightening your eyes and your jaw muscle good. Press your lips together. Squeeze your eyes, wrinkle your nose, make a good pruned face, good, hold, pausing, and now exhale, release, relax, soften, eyes, jaw, slack, 
melting, melting, closed, good, good. And then enjoy the tingling and warmth as tension dissolves throughout your entire body. And before you awaken, summarize for yourself, what would you like to leave right here on this floor? An old worry, perhaps, a heavy burden you don't have to carry any longer. What would you like to take on with you into your day that's of a positive, nourishing nature? And raise now your arms above your head to stretch and yawn and stretch and yawn. Good, and then roll over onto your side. Just roll over onto your side, knees to chest, put the top hand onto the floor, and come up into a seated position. Stay with this half hour until it becomes really a part of you. Thank you. Walk and balance this day. Namaste. To receive your copy of Lilius Folan's health and fitness newsletter, send a self-addressed stamped business size envelope to Rudra Press, Post Office Box 1973, Cambridge, Massachusetts, 02238. Today is a glorious new day, a precious gift. Listen to your body and honor it. No need to strain or bounce through tightness. A long, slow exhalation. Awake, aware stretching will release tightness in the correct and right amounts for you this day. Remember to remember to breathe. Yoga is not a workout. It is a work in. Your past is finished. The future hasn't come yet. Live in this present moment and be here now. Namaste and welcome. I've been waiting for you. I have a wonderful class planned for you this day and we're going to use a belt. So if you don't have a belt, you might go get one. How are you feeling this day? I hope that you are well and feel as well as I do. Close your eyes for a moment. And just sitting with your hands in your lap, or even if you're in a couch, that's fine. Just close your eyes and scan. Go with inside of yourself and see what you have brought with you to this moment and to this day. What does your face feel like? neck, shoulders, arms. What does the skin feel like? Is it warm or is it cool? How about any tension or tightness in your jaw or shoulders? Watch all of this from that place in you that witnesses all but criticizes nothing nor judges nothing that it sees. Watch your own breathing as the breath flows in and as the breath flows out. And then scan the inside of your head as if it were the lit room. Watch your thinking. It's interesting. Thoughts flow in and out. As you look in the inside room of your, of your head, and all around you is darkness. And see if in a half an hour, if there isn't any changes, if there aren't any changes inside of you with breath, with body, and with our mind, learning to quiet that freight train mind of ours. So let's lie down, all right? Hope you have your belt close by for action. Knees bent, and I'm going to ask you to cross your ankles. And sitting tall, breathing in. And as you exhale, lean back into a soft C into the back, tightening the buttock muscle, and go back beyond your tailbone so that there's no tenderness in the tailbone area. And then depending only on your abdominal muscle, slowly roll yourself down. 
Live, now you could support yourself with your hands if you need to in the beginning, but eventually, with control, slowly, slowly down. Good, feeling the lower back, mid back, shoulders. And then will you put the elbows, just placing the elbows on your floor and press in a little bit and bring the shoulders in towards your spinal column. Legs wide apart and lifting the arms a half an inch, just let your arms drop. Palms turn upwards. A full body stretch and yawn. Wonderful way to energize yourself in the beginning in the morning. Wonderful for releasing stress and tension at the end of your day. So will you bring the arms now over your head and try to resist the arch that you're going to want to feel in your lower back. So press the arch out of your back just slightly in your pelvic tilt. And we're going to stretch one, the right arm against your, le your right leg. So stretch slowly. Feels delicious as you stretch your right arm. Watch the arch in your lower back and push with the heel of your right foot. Squeeze your eyes and open your mouth wide to yawn. <gasps> Make the balloon the back of your throat, pausing and exhale. Release, relax and observe the sensation which follows. This is very important, is not only to feel the posture as you're doing it, but how do you feel afterwards and summarize this for yourself warmth coolness lengthening good now stretch the left side of your body slowly there we go the left arm against the left leg is as if i have a rope against my wrist and i'm resisting the lower back keep pushing it in and extend the heel of your left foot stretching each muscle bringing blood circulation to every muscle and now breath to every muscle squeeze eyes open the mouth wide make the balloon in the back and then yawn and a good sigh everyone out oh. Too many unside sighs inside of us. I know you know what I mean. Let's try that one more time. Without watching here, nose, chin, and breastbone in alignment. Breathe in through the nose, breathing in, and exhaling out with a good sigh. Oh, oh boy, right out the toes. Arms now alongside of your body, and this time keeping the heels in the floor. Just kind of let the legs just get all like jelly. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Good, good, good. That's why I keep going, sliding the heels, keeping the heels there. No discomfort now in the legs. That's right. Keep going, shoulders down from your ears, and keep breathing. Don't hold of the breath. And then stop. Observe. Isn't that interesting, all that little tingling like those little bubbles in the inside of your calves and feet? Fine, so here we are. We're going to now do a knee-to-chest position. And the knees-to-chest is something that I really enjoy doing because as you just bend your knees with me, place the feet on the floor, it soothes the back. It helps the back, it lengthens the back muscles, and it also increases the circulation in the belly area, helping your digestion and the elimination, organs of elimination. So will you just bend your right knee into your chest? First, we'll put the hands behind the back of your thighs and squeeze gently and massage the inner organs, bringing circulation to the abdominal cavity. I hope that your shoulders are pulled down from your ears. As you press, squeeze hold and release. Squeezing hold and then releasing. Bring then the hands on top of the knees. This is only done if the knee feels okay and good. So if, here we are, the hands are on top of the knees, one on top of the other. Flex your foot, breathing in. And as you do, tilt your pelvis pubic bone towards your chin, exhaling and lift, nose to knee, pressing the thigh into the chest, pausing, shoulders down from your ears, tighten the belly muscle, and then head to your mat. One more time now, breathing in, breathe in through the nose, 
Smoothly exhaling, let the exhalation lift the nose to the knee as you press the thigh into your chest and stretch your left leg slowly out, slowly out, slowly out, and then lift your heel a few inches off of your floor. Let go of your hands and stretch towards the toes. Keep breathing. Keep using the belly muscle to strengthen your back as you're holding and then release. Head to your mat, place your feet on the floor and pause for a second. And just ha have your knees touch and breathe in through the nose, breathing in, jaw relaxed, and then a side to side with your head, exhaling. Let the breath move your head as you exhale. Stretching and or just lengthening those muscles that we've just used, the pause, and then your inhalation moves the neck in the opposite direction. Jaw muscle is slack. Pausing and then back to home. Home is alignment of nose, chin, and breastbone. Left knee now to the chest, hands behind the back of the thighs, and squeeze the thigh into your chest, release. Massaging the inner organs. It's a very healthy exercise to do daily. Even in your bed, you can do this. Before you get up in the morning, squeeze, hold, and release. Notice my foot is flexed. And then after I've brought that blood to the hip sockets, then I place one hand over the other over your knee, if this feels good for your knee. Otherwise, go back under on top of the thigh. Breathing in. Good breath in. Exhaling, lift nose to the, towards the knee and press the thigh into your chest. Squeezing, holding, soothing the back, pausing. And shoulders down from your ears and then head down to your mat. Take a breath, in again, energy in as you breathe in. And exhaling, lift, nose towards the knee again, pressing the thigh and in control, very slowly, start to straighten and stretch your right leg, lifting it an inch or so off the floor. The toes are folded back towards your knees as you pause Keep breathing, don't hold your breath, release your hands and stretch towards the toes. And let that strong abdominal muscle hold you in the position and then will you draw both knees into chest and rest for a moment. Shoulders sloping, breathing in again, breathe in and once again, roll your head to the right rolling your head to the left and let your breath move the head and not the muscles so that you move those muscles that have been working for you that firm and and tone the upper neck hands now behind the back of your thighs and this is very interesting to do take your time to understand this it does take a little time first of all those shoulders down from your ears and then press the thigh into the chest keep breathing all right pressing the thighs into your chest, you'll feel your lower back wanting to come off the floor. But slowly start to press the sacrum, tailbone downwards, as you press the thighs towards your chest. There are two motions going on. And then release. Breathe in again. And this time, exhaling, lift. Both lifting your nose up towards the knees, pausing both thighs in towards the chest, contracting your abdominal muscle, and then arms reaching towards your opposite wall as you reach. Good. And then head to your mat. Place your feet on the floor again. Very nice, everyone. Very good. Work with that. Now, as we begin to do a leg raise, this is called an easy leg raise, but it really isn't quite so easy. It looks very easy. Add a pound of weight or so as you get to know it, as it becomes a part of you. Knees are bent. Straighten, slowly straighten that right leg. Slowly straighten it. All right, now I'd like you to tilt your pelvis, breathing in. Pull the belly muscle up into ribs. Exhaling, flat back, pubic bone towards your navel. And then let your quadricep slowly 
lift your right leg up. So it comes up knee to knee. You pause and then you lower it down slowly. My heel is extended, good, lift. Just hold an inch off of the floor. Keep breathing as you lift. Slowly lift, the muscles move you, not the motion. And slowly down, shoulders relaxed, jaw relaxed as you lower. And then coming up last time, knee to knee, pausing, using the quadricep, no strain, and then coming down. Remember, add a sneaker as this gets stronger, and then bend the knees. Stretch your left leg slowly out in front of you, extending your heel, breathing in. All right, tilting the pelvis. This will support you to maintain your leg raise now as you lifting now, lifting, lifting the leg so it's knee to knee, the pause, and then the lowering down. Now you can lower with an exhalation, good. You can lift with an inhalation, breathing in, knee to knee. Make the quadricep work as you slowly lower down. Slowly resist rushing, keeping the pelvis tilted, flat to your floor. Last time as you come up, come up. Good, knee to knee, pausing, and then down to the floor. Don't rush, don't rush. Remember to add a weight, and maybe do this at least 10 times each side at your own practice. Now. Here we are with the belt, soft belt, and I put it around the ball of my foot. Really check to see that it is on the ball of your right foot, not at the arch, but the ball of the foot. And get your ends even, right leg, left arm. And then will you just lower the leg so it's knee to knee again? And I let the, the tie slip through my hands. Now, start lifting the leg upwards, using your quadricep and, and adjusting your hands, pausing at that place that is your edge. If you go through the edge, you know you're into pain. Pain is a place you do not want, wish to be in. This is sweet discomfort. Use the resistance of your strap as you breathe in. Release the strap slightly. And exhaling, come in a little closer to your edge, not yanking, listening, listening, listening to the body, pausing. And when that flexibility begins to come, remember there is a downward push down into your hip bone as the foot comes back over your head. Pausing, not yanking, no bouncing. And then release. And a very easy way to change this is then to slip the left foot underneath the strap, ball of the foot, Support yourself now with this right bent knee. And let the strap slip between your hands for the moment. Go then to the knee to knee are parallel. Right hand to the strap. And then slowly come up, come up. And as you do, adjust your hands, adjusting, adjusting, good, pausing. And then just coming up just to that point that you begin to feel you need the resistance of the strap. Now I'm going to ask you here to use the quadricep, that point that you just begin to feel, quadricep up, pausing, All right now breathing in, and exhaling, use the resistance as you need it, slowly, come up to where there is an edge, listening to the body, not lifting the pelvis off the floor, slowly coming closer each day to your edge, pausing, breathe in, Exhaling, and just come a little closer to the edge this day. So remind yourself, too, that there is a feeling, and you can put your hand right in the fold of where your thigh and your hips come, pressing your hand, your thumb, right in that little fold there, and you'll be able to feel that downward push with your hand. It's what I'm talking about as the heel goes upwards towards over your face. And then release slowly. Slowly down, bend the knee, and hold on to the tie because we're going to need it. Will you turn now over onto your side? This is the nicest way I know, most best support for your back. Turn over onto the side, knees on the floor, and then push off and come up into a seated position. And now we're going to stand up. Hold on to your tie, will you? Come up, standing up, and stand and plant your feet to the floor. Your feet are a hip distance apart. They really, your legs don't grow uh, all out of the, the, leg, the hip sockets in this way. No, there's some space and you can feel the bottoms of your feet. 
and work a little bit now and just become aware of your posture. The best way I know to become aware of your posture is this chest expander. A wonderful exercise. Use your, uh, this strap at first and then you won't need it as you become more flexible. But what I'm going to ask you to do, and I'm just going to turn a little bit, and you look at your screen and you can see how my hands are placed. First of all, the nails, my fingernails, are right in close to my buttock muscles. And I widen the, the space between my hands according to the flexibility of my shoulders. Pull now that triangle of your belly upwards. All right, now, slowly lower the arms downwards, downwards. The fingernails still stay alongside or underneath the buttock muscle. As you pull downwards, ease your elbows, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Tighten your buttock muscle, breathe in and open your chest by raising the arms as far as you can go today without force. Breathing in, lifting the chin, stretching the front of your body, exhale, release, relax, and just let your shoulders drain, arms drain, any stress, any baggage from the shoulders, just let it go right out your fingers. You can repeat this totally clothed any time during your day. Wonderful exercise to do undercover. Now, the sun exercise. This is a 12-part exercise and I'm going to take it apart slowly. It's a wonderful exercise, perhaps done in the morning to greet the sun. So you might think of this at another time, greeting the sun. Standing then in the number one position, which is palms together, shoulders back and down. That's what that shoulder open was, the opener warmed the chest up. Good, as you breathe in for your number one position. Exhale, and as we go into two position, just breathing in comfortably. Comfortably, as I explain your two position. Open your arms up, shoulders down from your ears, and set yourself up before you go back so that there's no pain in your back. So you're going to inhale and lift right the rib cage right up out of your hips. Exhale and come back down. Now grow once again with your breath. Inhaling, lift the torso right up out of your hips, tightening the buttock muscle to support your back and arcing back. Keep out of the lower back as you lift the torso out of your back and release. Good. Come down now slowly as we go into a number two, the three position, stretching forward. Forward. And I'd like you to place your hands on your knees. Your three position is with a flat back or a rounded back, but feel what a flat back feels like. Put your hands back here. Feel the little ridge of a vertebra that have formed a tunnel of support for your lower back. And now continue on, coming down, coming down, coming down into your three position. Just giving your head and blood in your face and cheeks and brain a good inverted pose. And now four. We're going to go into right leg all the way back into a lunge. So the right leg goes to the back of the mat and you line yourself up so that knee and ankle are in alignment and you're in a lunge position. Will you just come up, hands on top of the knees. Be sure that knee is over your ankle. Breathing in. And as you exhale, just contract that back body muscle in your lunge pose. Five, body straight position. Go into a strong, straight body position. The hands are slightly away from your, from your shoulders as you hold beneath the shoulders. And then we're going to go into knees chest and chin. This is your sixth position. Knees, chest, and chin. And as you're holding there, knees, chest, and chin, sometimes just bringing your hips down to the floor helps to get yourself into the position. Then you can lift your hips up, the chest lightly touching your chin to the floor. Seven, slip your breastbone between your thumbs. And you're going to slowly come up now into a modified cobra. But you're going to keep your hips, your navel to the floor as you pull the shoulder blades back and down. 
eight, jackknifing now the hips up to the ceiling into a dog stretch. So you come onto the knees, turn the toes under, jackknife the hips again up to the ceiling. The knees are eased. Breathe in and exhaling. The head goes between the upper arms, right heel to the floor, release. Left heel to the floor. And now look up to the thumbs of your hands. And can you swing once again the foot between the two hands as you're in your lunge position? The nails are in alignment. Straighten your back leg. Breathing in. And now exhale. Come into your forward, standing forward bend position. Pausing. And now coming up, lifting the head with the flat, natural curves of your spine. You can just naturally put your hands here on your knees to help you come up, come up, come up into your straight position. Then lifting the arms upwards, 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 pausing. Take a breath in, arcing back, arcing back, lifting up out of your lower back and 12. Palms of the hands together in their namaste position. Breathing in and breathing out. Now let me do this, this posture and show you how it's done and watching its flow. One, collect yourself. Two, raise arms, inhale, lift breastbone. Three, long breath out, fold forward, eased knees. Four, stretch left leg back. Five, body straight, strong. Six, exhaling, bent elbows close to ribs. Seven, navel to floor, blades together, arch. Eight, long exhalation, sit bones up. Nine, shoot the left foot between the hands. Good. Ten, hello toes, exhale tiredness out. Eleven, up to standing arc, energy in, lift up. Twelve, back to home, really back to home in body, mind, and spirit. Try the sun exercise. You will enjoy it. So let's sit down. Sit down and lie down and draw your knees now in to your chest. Draw both knees into the chest, arms out to your side in a T position, palms turned upwards, pulling those shoulders in towards your spine. And I'd like you to breathe in. And as you exhale, both knees down now underneath your right arm. Underneath your right arm, breathe in, slowly breathing in, and exhale both shoulders to your mat. The morning star is a wonderful, interesting exercise to do, but just follow my words. Let your right leg slowly straighten, downwards, downwards, just as I'm doing now, downwards, down. And your left leg now, can you grab a hold of your left big toe with your hand, or close by, or close by it? Pause there, and now without looking at me, line your nose and chin up as best you can with your breastbone, breathing in. And as you exhale, lift your right arm up above your head as we do now this wonderful stretch called the Morning Star. Breathe in in all four directions, the north, south, east, and west of the body, pausing. And then grab a hold of the toe again, the big toe again, both knees into your chest, and then draw both knees into the chest and roll into the opposite side. Both knees now are down underneath your left arm, looking over your right shoulder for a moment, breathing in and stretching first. Good, now exhaling, can you clasp a hold of your right big toe and straighten your left leg? Ease yourself into it. Maybe at first you'll only be able to do it just a little bit of the way but it feels wonderful even if it's just a variation. Now let's lift the left arm up over your head. There we are. We're, we're, we're forming a great big beautiful star. So breathe in and breathe in out of your toes, out of your fingers, breathing in and exhaling sinking the shoulders into your floor. Pausing, draw both knees now in Arms in your T position, both knees to the chest once again. Doesn't that feel wonderful? 
feet to the floor, straighten your right leg, straightening your left leg, feet well apart. Turn now by pressing your shoulders in, turning your shoulders inwards and getting a nice pelvis, nice and flat back, pelvic tilt, palms turned upwards, aligning your nose, your chin, and breastbone in alignment. And watch your breathing. Coolness in. Warmth as the breath flows out. Take a minute vacation. Imagine that you are relaxing on a soft, white cloud. Arms hollow. Legs long. Bottoms of the feet melt. Jaw slack. Shoulders, hips sink into the cloud. Breath and thoughts quiet. Peaceful. What a wonderful way to end the class. Taking a deeper breath. Raising the arms over your head, leaving tiredness on the floor as you stretch and yawn, and then roll over onto your side, putting the top hand to the floor and coming up into a seated position. Remind yourself to take a minute vacation this and every day. I thank you for coming, and I greet you with namaste, with blessings, with light, and with love.